California has more skate parks than there is grains of sand on the beach. That might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but it does seem like it because in my years and years of skating, I think that I've fully skated all of them. But out of all of these skate parks, there is one that is better than the rest. And that is Poods Skate Park. And here's the reasons why this is the best skate park in Southern California. When I say that this is the best skate park, I'm speaking in the context that you've been skating for a couple of years and you're not scared to jump on a ledge or like a rail or maybe even down some stairs. I think that the best way to break down this skate park is by section. There is a technical ledge and manual section, a basic ledge and flat bar along with a basic manual pad, a small little bit of tranny in the main skate park, a section for stairs and hubbas, as well as a basic manual pad, and there are some cool hips around the whole park. Chances are, if you see June here, he's going to be doing some crazy manual tricks on the technical side of the park. The ledge that is there is hands down the best ledge in the world. The edge of this ledge is the perfect amount of angle so that all of your tricks will feel super buttery. The angle iron on it isn't extremely pointy to where you're going to wear down your trucks really bad, but it's also not super rounded where you're going to have a hard time doing your tricks. It's just the right amount of angle that all of your tricks are going to feel like they lock in very nicely. And chances are, if you see me at Poods, I'm probably skating that ledge. As well as a lot of my homies like to skate this ledge too. The manual pad that's off to the corner is probably the most perfect manual pad. It's pretty easy to tell what qualifies a perfect manual pad. Literally just a rectangle on the ground is a perfect manual pad. But this manual pad is made out of a very nice piece of marble that grinds pristinely. As well as being a really good height to flip your tricks in and flip your tricks out. Or just do a quick 180 switch manual. Not to mention the edge of the manual pad is still good to begin to learn your ledge tricks. Notice I say begin to learn because once you start to lock them in good, you might as well just go to the ledge and try to learn it for real. The biggest feature in the park and also one of my favorites is this big orange hip. It's big, it's orange, and it's hip. Like real hip, like the kind like people talk about like in the 70s like, yo that's hip. The only thing that sucks about it is that you have to push so much to be able to get the speed to get to the hip. The hip has a very mellow angle on it, so it's really easy to turn a kickflip into a backside flip. But it's also just as easy to over-rotate that backside flip and just keep spinning. But if you do over-rotate your trick and find yourself falling down this very large bank, then it's kind of enjoyable because it's really slippery and you're gonna slide. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, how was that? I landed it, technically. Oh, you're right. And it's just like when you were a child and you would slide down a slide for the sake of just sliding down a slide get a little bit of joy out of that as well. Literally what I think of when I slide down that bank. I wonder if my friends think of that too. That was sick. One of, if not the most fantastic thing about this skate park is that it has the ultimate progression of stairs throughout the park. It has a very basic mellow little two stair that will help you gain the confidence in getting your tricks down so then you could take it down the four stair. And that four stair is just a little bit longer than normal so you have to go a little bit faster which in turn will give you more confidence in that trick that you learned down the two stair. And then after you learn that, you can go to the bigger four stair and there is where you'll get a little bit more height in trying to do your trick down stuff. 
I always see groups of little homies trying to jump down this four block, and it's really cool to watch them because they all encourage each other to just go for it. And if you go there and you think you can do it, chances are you probably could, so go for it. And then right next to that is the six stair. The six stair is exactly the same height as the four stair next to it, but it is longer. So if you're hucking tricks down the six stair, then it's gonna give you a little bit more hang time and give you a better feeling of what it'll be like when you take that trick to the street somewhere. There's something special about that smaller four stair and that's the fact that people can just skate up it. Well, Josh can skate up it. I'd have never seen anyone else skate up it. And if you got tired of skating inside the park, then you could just make the benches that go along the border of the park its own obstacle to jump over. Which was wild. That thing's high. Josh is wild. He said he thinks he can kickflip over it. Yo, leave a comment down below saying Josh kickflip over the bench. Oh, I almost, I almost forgot. There's also a very nice hubba right next to the six stair. But it is pretty short and it is a little steep. So you're gonna be getting on the ledge farther out and you're not gonna be sliding or grinding that far. But it is a really good hubba to learn stuff on. Oh, but let's say you're not a street skateboarder kind of guy. There is a beautiful circular shaped quarter pipe that you could do all of your training tricks on. That's it, Papa. Bear. But keep in mind, the coping on this quarter pipe doesn't stick out very far, so you're gonna have to do your tricks a little different than if you're used to doing it on coping that sticks out of the quarter pipe. Because this one's really flush with the quarter pipe. I fall on it like all the time. Look, look, I know, I know. That's not a lot of training to skate. Honestly, it's not really that great of training to skate at all. So, if you like skating pools, there is a pool on the outside of the skate park that you can go to that is very fun to roll around in. I myself can't really do much but barely roll around in this pool. But luckily for me, I pointed my camera into the pool section of the park right when this little homie dropped in and he was amazing. Holy sh Don't know who he is. Hey, if you know who he is, uh, leave his Instagram down below in the comments because he is good. Also leave a comment down below Let me know if you skated this park and if there's obstacles and things to look out for that you noticed that I didn't cover in this video and if it's a good one I'll pin it to the top. The best thing about this park or worse depending on how you look at it is that the ground is super slippery. So no matter what if you hit the ground you're gonna slide. But that is a double edged sword because you will slide on the ground making it so that you won't get hurt as much. But you also slide out of your tricks if you land a little too much off. But for the most part, it's not so slippery that every trick that you land is really hard to stay on your board. Let me know if you like this video about this skate park and if it gets enough likes and views and all that then I'll keep making these videos about skate parks. Also let me know if there's a skate park that you think is better than Poods and I'll probably, I wanna go skate cause I wanna have fun too. I wanna skate fun parks as well. And if you have not done so yet then give a little gentle click to that. I ain't asked no more man. I'm not asking anymore. Look, if you like high quality content and you wanna be here when we hit 2 million then you know what to do about getting to the two million. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep making stuff. So, I love you, have a good day, go skate, have fun. Uh, thanks to all the homies that were skating in the video. I appreciate you guys, love y'all. If I forgot your Instagram, sorry. I don't know everybody's, so, okay, bye. If you have watched this far, you're a real one. You're the guy that's gonna leave this comment. Are you ready for it? Here it is. If you watched this far, leave a comment saying, hey, hey, what we gonna say? We gonna say, hey, today, today, the day, the day to say, hey, hey, today, whoa, what's gonna happen? I don't know, Christian is rapping about nothing, nothing, discussion, 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 discussion about nothing. What you gonna do? I'm gonna do a whole bunch of Mountain Dew because I'm a gamer too. That's not true. 
I don't play games that much. I downloaded Call of Duty recently, and it was fun. I need to get lunch. Maybe a burrito. Maybe chorizo. Okay, if you leave a comment saying that, that'd be wild. I don't know if I'm going to do that. It's kind of embarrassing. Whatever, I'll do it anyways. Okay, bye.